Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Incomplete Guide to Star Sector. Where we are here, hanging around our home world of Larch, after last episode when we finally gave some names to a couple of our colonies. Let's see. We now have Lumina, is our gas giant, and our other arid world is now Calamari, after the Calamari Desert in the Mario games. And we have a couple things we need to do in our system first before we embark on today's quests. And that is, I want to take a look at maybe one of these planets here. Because you're, let's see, 50, 250, 225, or what, 225, that's, that's pretty high hazard. And I think we need to get a planet like this one that has a somewhat lower hazard rating. One that we can actually drop even more if we get a or if we put an orbital fusion lamp on there, which I think we actually have one. Do we have one? Let's find out. Yes, we do. Nifty. Very, very nifty. So we have a bunch of industries that I want to put on a couple planets that they don't require resources from that planet. And so it's generally better to put them on planets that don't have the resources. That way you can focus on getting resources from, from the planets that have them. And also so that you don't end up bleeding money on industries that don't really need to be on a planet. For instance, I think on Abydos, we have refining. And refining costs us... 8,000 a month upkeep because of our hazard rating of 225%. So the base value is 4,500. We are up to 8,000 a month. That's not great. That's sort of feeding into our huge credit sink here. But if we were to come to, say, this planet, Zeta Igor 5, it's got actually some decent mining, honestly. But we could move our refining onto this planet install an orbital fusion lamp here, and that could drop this by as much as 50%. As in, actual numbers to 150, not 50% to 100. So, we can't fix the no atmosphere, and we actually want that. So, I think we might do that. We might colonize this planet. In fact, we're going to colonize this planet right now. And then we'll start putting some of our industries that don't need to be on Abydos over there. And Abydos will be sort of mining and military, and that should largely be it. We'll probably want to add a couple more here and there as we can, just to bring some extra income. But depending on the hazard rating of your planet, it is possible to not have a whole lot of income, if any. Let's take a look at Abydos here. So we are refining and we are exporting transplutonics and metals. So the transplutonics are pulling in 8,400. The metals are pulling in 6,150 for what, 14,500? Over half of that's getting eaten up by this monthly upkeep. So if we were to bring that over to this other planet, the currently barren one, there's nothing on it and no name, we could maybe get away with paying only 6,000 a month, or even 5,000. I'm not quite sure how these factor into the price. They're not exactly one-to-one -one from what I can see, but that is something I want to do. So let's go ahead and let's start up this colony here. We need to grab a few more people first. Let's do that. A thousand of you. And let's also grab a couple hundred of you. I think we need 200 supplies. And we need 100 heavy machinery. And I think I have some more of that in storage. Yes, here we go boatloads of that. There we go. Now you might notice that we're kind of a little low on crew right now. And that's because, oops, I actually need to not bring quite that many with us. We'll come back for them. That's because I have slimmed down our fleet for some exploration today. And that is going to be on the docket after we start up this new colony over here. Well, you know what? We're also going to grab a mining worm thingy. This guy, the autonomous mantle bore. 
There we go. Grab you. And off we go. Let's resume that course. So today I want to explore because we are missing a lot of different items that we could potentially install in our colonies that would enhance their ability to produce all kinds of fun stuff. And we did a bit of that a couple of episodes ago. And we went to the east. And we uncovered a bit of, I wouldn't say land here, but we uncovered a bit of a sector here right in this little loop. Now we came home because we ran kind of out of gas and out of, uh, out of supplies. So we're going to fly with a lighter fleet to help tamp down that need for supplies and, and fuel. And I think this time I would like to go from here down around here. We've already been over here, so no need to explore that again. We'll go around here, up here, and curl back around. And that will be a pretty good exploration journey. And I think what I'll do is we'll do it a bit differently than before, where I'm only going to really bother with systems, at least in the recording, that actually have things in them. I might pop in and say like a nope, no ghosts, nobody here but us ghosts, but I'm not going to drag you along for all the exploration of all the empty systems. We're going to call you Ugly Moon. And if one of you would like to provide a name for Ugly Moon, then I would welcome that. So let's go ahead. We're going to add here do we start with mining because it's cheap or refining because it brings in more money? I think we should do refining and maybe even move refining off of our other planet. But we'll start with just building it here. Yeah, let's do that. And then we ground defenses. And that is all we can do right now. Okay. And I've found out that if you start those and queue them up and you leave, you can then come back and you should be able to then directly come here. Oh, nope, you can't. Never mind. We cannot do anything with those until they're built. However, we can install this orbital fusion lamp. Now, this requires 10 units of volatiles, which is a ton of volatiles, and we're not going to have that. But we do have a few. And you'll see that that immediately drops our hazard rating to 185. So we're going to go ahead and slam that hazard pay in there. And once our spaceport comes up, we will have, I think, three more, maybe. Maybe even four or five more. And that will drop this hazard rating even more, making all these things cheaper. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. And we'll leave that to uh, do its thing. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. I thought we had another administrator. Let's see if we happen to have one here. We do not. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop at all of our planets here and see if we have a spare admin waiting in somewhere we can find. If not, then we will just suffer with a little bit of a penalty to our stability, which I think should be okay. Yeah, we're still at 10 here, and we are at ugh, 6 here. 6 isn't great. But this is a brand new colony, so it doesn't matter quite as much. So, yeah, let's let's leave that at that. And we'll see how they fare, I think. Oh, yeah, we're good here. We are fine as far as pirates go. So I'll see all of you in a little bit once I figure out whether or not we have an administrator to plop in here. And then we will get on our exploration. And by the way, when you do install an orbital fusion lamp, you get the little lamp thing that orbits the planet, and I think it's pretty cute. I'm not sure if it's flickering because it has few volatiles or if that's supposed to do that, but <laughs> I guess I'll find out once we can supply it with more. Anyway, I'll see all of you in a little bit. All right, everyone, we are off. And let's talk a bit about our fleet here as well. So in addition to just slowing down our fleet, I also removed all ships that have a burn speed of less than nine. So we are now moving very fast. And yes, this guy normally has a burn speed of under nine, namely, I think it's six. But with our bulk transport ability, it increases it to eight. And I also went ahead and built in the 
augmented drive field to bring it up to like a 11, which is unnecessary, but I needed to get it over that hump of nine. So that means that we are going to move at a pretty good clip basically everywhere we go. And that's important for exploration, at least this type of exploration that I don't normally do. I don't normally bother traveling light because I kind of see there as being a couple different styles of exploration. One is you, you go once, you get everything, and you fight whatever you need to fight, and then eventually you never come back. So that's my preferred style, and that usually means you have to drag a lot of equipment with you, a lot of ships, to handle all the threats that are out there in the black. We are going with a fast fleet, so that we don't have to do that. We can just fly in, we can take a look at some different systems, and then we can get away. And we'll come back later to take out any of the larger, more interesting threats. But in the meantime, for the easier things, like research stations, we at least have the storage capacity to sort of pick up everything we want. Also, you'll see that we're flying a lot faster through the hyperspace clouds than we normally do. That's because your slowdown, as far as flying through clouds and nebulae and asteroid fields and stuff, that depends on not just your ship's speed, but your fleet's size and the size of the ships in that fleet. Oh, okay, just a fake thing. So we move real fast everywhere because, ooh, high warning beacon, wow, okay. Because we have mostly small ships, only a couple cruisers. Let's save here. We're gonna take a quick peek in. Oh, wow, okay. Let's go in quiet. Wow. Inactive gate. I'm going to scan this thing. We're not going to stay here for long, though, that's for sure. And we will actually do some salvaging. I'll take it all. Why not? Let's scan this thing. Because we can. We got survey data. We already have more. We haven't actually used it yet. They are very tough carriers. But we don't want to... Ooh, got some crew. Nice. We don't really want to engage much of anything out here because we are a small fleet. And, a certain Corazar forgot to go pick up more crew. Uh, no, thank you. It's a little late in the game for a wolf. Now, there is another little ship over here. Speed up time. What are you? A lasher. Now, if we could, I would love to come over here to Ning and actually check that world for ruins, but I don't think with our current fleet we will not survive a single Ordo. A fragment we could handle. An Ordo, not so much, and that planet is probably crawling with them. So we're going to leave this for now, and we'll come back later at some point, maybe with bigger guns and more guns. Okay, well, I'm going to get to it, and we're going to start hopping three different systems and seeing what is here. And maybe I won't be back in a minute. We might just be here. We have a debris field. Some ships that we don't really want. But some stuff. And I'll be doing some of this looking around with the neutrino detector, too. I don't really expect to find a whole lot. It's not that reliable. But I figure if we can find any remaining things like research stations and so on, that would be amazing. Hello. A little vigilance. A broad wave signal. That's not great. What have we got? Someone coming in from out there. We might just pop out of here. No one here but us ghosts. Oh dear. What do we have here? We are going to have to go home at some point. Oh. 
how much do they like us? They don't like us. Odd that we're given the option to do that. Ah, okay. We are not given the option. Okay. Let's see. We could... Uh, no. We'll just make sure we go home in... 81 days. That should be plenty of time for us to get around here. I hope. I really hope. Because they are here to disrupt our mining. Okay. That's a shame. We're coming up here on my favorite kind of system, a neutron star. Not a wild fan of these ones that don't have many planets. And it looks like our ruins are getting a little little slim on, on goodies there. So I'm going to once again save. And we're going to go into this gravity well here and hope that we don't get blown away by the Neutron Star's winds. And I do wish that there was a better way of doing this than crossing your fingers. Oh wow, we made it. And look at like there is something up there. Something twinkling up here is probably a research station. But we're going to have to wait until, well, a lot of things happen actually. You know what it might do? Oops, wrong button. Let's get up here. What is a research station? Let's get it. Hello. Broadway signal, whatever. Okay. Uh, we have all these blueprints. Some good stuff, but not what I was really hoping for. Afflictor blueprint? Yeah, it's okay. Let's get out of here. We gotta roll. Before the pirate show up and before that wave front hits us. Bye guys, good luck. Don't know who would hide out in that system like that. What have we here? We have a wee ship. Okay, nothing. Now this is an interesting system. This has probably got some interesting things here. Let's see what we have. Something down near that star, at least. Take a peek at these planets as we drive by. A mud skipper. And something else. Something else down here, looks like. Hello. Little dram. Totally worth it. And we have another planet out here, cryovolcanic. What do we have over here? Uh, looks like a barren world with nothing on it. We'll ring the bell one more time. We'll check out this cryo world over here, and then we'll make our little exit. Looks like a lot of nothing. Oh, whoa, I spoke too soon. Wow, did I speak too soon. And we got fleets checking things out. Yeah, got some interesting stuff. Let's take as much as we can for now. Before I dump most of that food later. And there's a twinkle down here too. Oh, wow. Nope. All right. Let's be off. Oh, looks like no one's home. Hey, we have some ruins here, looks like. Get some scattered ruins. Scattered ruins don't usually have a high chance of having blueprints, but they can. And there's another planet down here. Empty. A 
looks like a dead system to me. An arid world. These can sometimes be worth surveying as long as you have your survey cost reduced to five supplies because you'll typically get class four or five survey data. It's a nice planet too, wow. And that is worth, I think, 5,000 by itself. So you're trading 500 credits for 5,000. Not a bad deal. This would be a, wow, under 100% hazard rating. That'd be a great planet but it's in a really junky system and no accessibility <laughs> at all. So, yep, really nice planet, but really bad system. Wow, treasure trove. What have we here? We have a debris field right here. There's something twinkling out here. Debris field, okay. And then the interior of this system was full of juicy things twinkling. Oh, hello. A little desert roll with some ruins. we got uh, okay I dig it nothing special but it'll keep our exploration going by grabbing all the supplies and fuel we can really stay out here for a very long time before we have to go back and I spy an arid world over there yes ow clunk I meant to hit that asteroid what have we here? A real big arid world. Not too shabby, though. Transplutonic ore. And a corrupted nanoforge. We already have like two of those. Let's grab that and we'll dump the food. Because who needs food, really? Come on. You kidding me? Who even eats anymore? That's so like. 2010s. Hello. Wow. Hey, we have another level 7 officer. Let's take a look at them and see if they're worth retraining or keeping. So they have energy weapon mastery. Ooh, combat endurance. We need that for our smaller ships. This person is perfect. Oh, this person's great. That's unusual. It's kind of rare you get really, really good level 7 officers. I might even kick you off because, like, this is everything we need for our Sunder here. You don't have gunnery implants, so you're not going to be one of our frigate pilots. Yeah, let's, let's, you know what, I'm sorry, you Elysium, we won't space you, I swear, we're going to give you a nice bunk that just happens to be near the airlock, alright? Yeah, I think we definitely want to do that. All sorts of great stuff and skills that I really wanted on here as well, so, goodbye, and we're going to drop you right in there, nice. All right. Uh, no, thank you. Condor. Hmm. Do I want a condor? I don't think we need one, because we've been running with the herons for a while. So we'll leave that behind. Oh, over cargo capacity. Terribly sorry. Let's just drop like half of you. There we go. Salvage you. And we'll see what's twinkling over here. A debris field again. Very nice. Ooh, a mining station in the Gamma Kirch, Kirch Aquari system. Okay. Wow. It's a big haul from that. 
Let's see where that is. So that's way far away. Okay. Now we've been there before since it says eight unsurveyed. And I guess we just missed that. It, it generally won't give you information about things you've already discovered or looted. Let's see. Let's get over here. And let's keep moving. Nobody home. Off we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this is perfect. This is a great find. Weapons cache. Volturnian lobster just hanging out with the weapons. Okay. I guess they're, uh, I guess they're freeze dried. Space dried. Wow, holy moly. A breach pod blueprint. And some other missiles. Wow. Not every day you stumble across a system like this. Loot pinata. Great planet, terrible system. But we have vast ruins, which means could strike it rich or we don't. No blueprints and just a corrupt nanoforge. We don't really need more than one nanoforge, so uh, let's dump you. Yep, so sorry. And let's go ahead and we're going to... Whoa, there's a fight going on over here. Let's claim this relay. And interesting. We have research station location. Where might that be? Goodbye, food. Told you we're done to the food. Where is this research station? Wow, you're forever away. Okay, well that's going to be one for later, definitely. Let's go. Oh my. Uh. You have, like, no combat ships, so you know what? If you want to tangle, we can tangle. You're running from our fleet. Good. Uh, I don't really want a regular brawler, so... Goodbye, friend. Let's get up here and take a look at all these ships. If I take a look at it, I mean dismantle entirely. And let's see what all these guys left behind. Unlikely anything of value. Nothing in there, okay. Take all the supplies and fuel. No, thank you. All right. There's some more up here. Ooh, research station right here. Yes, please. Wow, nice. Some hyperspace data. And still nothing that I'm really wanting here. <laughs> it's a bit of a bummer. I would very much enjoy either some blueprints or some actual unique colony items. That pirate just throwing themselves against everyone's hulls, apparently. Okay, I think we're about done here. Let's go and, I guess, deal with this freighter. You're not tracking my movements. You're fleeing from me. Oh, minor supply cache. Where was that? Ah. Nice. Okay. Nothing earth-shattering. And an enforcer and a debris field.
Let's see what we got. All right. Well, that was a treasure trove. Let's see how long we have until this arrives. Colony Threats is here somewhere. Here we go. They are in system. Oh, wow. Whoopsie. Let's see if we can catch up with them. I don't know if we can. We can go to Samara Gate. Let's do that. Let's try to stop them before they cause too much havoc. Let's go here. Now, be aware, when you travel to a gate to a populated area, make sure you turn on your transponder. Otherwise, you will uh, get some heat. All right, let's see. Let's just jump out here. There we go. And let's roll home. Let's see, home is here. Let's see, they want to go to Abydos, is that right? Abydos, okay. Abby something. Let's just hope we get there in time. In we go. Let's see, there they are. And I do think we can take them with our current fleet. They're mostly transport ships. Oh, they're bringing troops. They're trying to bring troops in. Oop, everyone disappeared for a second there. Let's join this battle. Look at our poor ships. They're in such poor shape. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, I will take control of, I believe. You know what? Let's take you. Yeah. Oh my. Let's leave you behind for the time being. We'll send out all of our officer ships first. And then we'll have room for a carrier and you. And that should probably be overkill, but we do have really junky allied ships. So we want to make sure we're really shoring them up. And we are going to stack up our omens like that. You get to come with me, help me deal some damage. I want someone to escort you. Probably one of you guys. And then let's send you just to hang out up here. And away we go. I should want to be on these guys. I've been flying one of these in another game I was playing. I have a character who is... I've designed as low-tech only. His name is Rick Lowbrow. <laughs> And this was my main flagship for a very long while. I've moved on to the Onslaught, specifically the 14th Battle Fleet, but this has served me well. It still serves me well in smaller engagements. So they're all going that way. All right. Let's all... Let's post up... Actually, no. Let's not do there. Let's do it more like here, there... And you go there. Actually, no, you capture that. <laughs> See if you can do it. Now, we are not a specialist in ballistics, but that's okay. We have basically everything else that you want to have for an eradicator. We have, I think, helmsmanship. Ah, these things. These are so annoying. My goodness. And because we have safety overrides on, we can't actually... Oh, good grief. There we go. Those are dangerous. My goodness. Yeah, we can't actually vent our flux, so we have to back off to vent. Let's see if we can get around these guys a little bit. Bad news. That's my ship. All right. 
So we're all stacked up here. Ooh, let's unstack from here. And let's probably do that a bit. And let's start engagements here. We're going to sneak around and just sort of take out these guys from behind. Near them. Rough news for you, my friend. And away they go. Hello. Watch my flux there, because that eagle has a lot of heat on me right now. No, thank you. I'm going to wait for those missiles to go away, I think. You can't quite reach me, can you? Nope. All right. We're going to zip in here. See if we can annoy this guy. Load you up with missiles and blow your armor out. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, they got us pretty good there. Let's back off. That's going to sting. Those missiles burn themselves out. Those are real annoying missiles to deal with. Let's go annoy you again. Your, your flux is already pretty high. Ah. Every time. Let's get out of range. I really shouldn't be going in, like, straight at them, but they're kind of a bit of a death ball going here. Let's see if we can sneak around behind. Hello, friend. Hey, nice. Good work, guys. These guys are tough nuts to crack, as you can see. Bye. Once they go, they go. Plunk. Ugh. Smacked into that thing. Oh, you're fine, dude. What are you backing off for? Good grief. Right, let's kill that. Let's kill... Let's control that. And let's get these guys all engaged. Try to surround these guys and push them up toward the rest of our fleets. Uh oh. I don't want to be around for that Dragonfire missile when it comes up. You know what? We're just going to burn our way out of here. Didn't realize we're right at the bottom of the, uh, the map. So let's turn around, turn this boat around. We're gonna burn it on this guy. We sort of split those up. It's going to work to our advantage. Deal with this guy first, though. Night, night. Okay. It is now your turn, my friend. Ugh, yuck. Let's see. Oh, they sent someone over here. Interesting. I guess the enemies are still trickling in a little bit.
you know, I don't really need that. I was going to bring them in because I wanted to speed this up a little bit, but I don't think we really need that. Did we lose our other eradicator? By golly, I think we did. Nope, you're over here. Okay, you're just being real slow. Go kill that guy. All right, let's go deal with these guys up here. Let me get these first, if we can. There we go. Night, night. Deal with those fighters. All right. Uh-oh. Who's been functioning? Our afflictor? Let's see, where are you? Oh, yeah, you go home. Get out of here. You're dropping like a rock. You guys are doing surprisingly okay against the... that guy. Let's get the team engaged on him. Not worry about that guy at all. And soon, we won't need to worry about this guy. Rip your armor. And away you go. Now, are these guys still fighting? Yes, they are. Wow. Can't claim victory yet. Oh, now we can. <laughs> you know what? Nah, you don't get to go home. You don't get to go home, my buddy. Sorry, pal. I have a whole ton of missiles that all do nothing against your shield, I guess. Okay, that works too. Hey, yeah, whatever. Good night, sir. Gonzo. That is one per Ow! Ow! My skin. Uh, yeah, we're going to join the pursuit because if you leave them, they can really annoy your fleets. So we're going to send our second in command a few of our faster ships. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think we want any of their ships. Yeah. Maybe we'll take the vigilance for grins and giggles and maybe the champion and we'll just leave both of those at home. And we will drop off you. So, let's see. The Persian League doesn't like us as much, which they already hated us, which is fine. We did get a commission, which is all right, I guess. It helps pay for some of the damage. And we got a story point. Not too shabby. Okay, well, let's go drop off our stuff. Let's salvage this guy. Sure, why not? Do a battlefield salvage. Sure. And let's go leave all of our stuff down here at... Up here at Larch. I'm going to go and drop things off and restock our fleet. And then we'll pick up again with the rest of our exploration in just a minute. All right, folks, we are back and continuing our exploration. I did happen to find another freelance administrator on Chickamostock, and I put them on Ugly Moon to increase stability of basically three out of four, three out of five of our colonies. Something I wanted to mention and forgot to earlier is that when you're on the map screen here, you have these buttons you can press at the bottom here that'll tell you information names of things. Names are for the... I'm not sure what names does, honestly. Off or on, doesn't seem to matter. But you can turn on or off these different sort of filters. Of course, we've mentioned the fuel range before. That's why everything here is coated in a nice October orange. That shows you how far you can travel. The starscape will toggle on whether you're looking at the different constellations and clouds, or if you're looking at the sort of arrangement of the hyperspace storms in the clouds, 
as well as any known or visible slipstreams, which can be handy. And this is probably honestly a better view than than this. And then you also have exploration, which will show you here whether you have explored an area or a system or not. If you have an X inside the brackets, which is really tiny, it's for ants, the X means you have fully explored all of the planets. They've all been surveyed. There might still be stuff floating in space that you haven't found yet, but at least the planets have all been surveyed. Surveyed. Not surveyed. Now, if you have question marks inside the brackets, that means that there are at least, or there is at least one planet left to survey. And empty brackets mean you have not surveyed it yet. So we're going to go and check out this empty bracket place. And then constellations just gives you the names of constellations. So if you're trying to find one in particular, then you can. And again, names, I still have no idea what names does. Nothing, apparently. Neat. But let's get going and continue on our journey. We have a Gemini here still. Sure, take your junk. Off we go. No, nothing here so far. No ruins there. I'm going to call this one done. And we have some ruins here. Scattered ruins. No, yeah, not bad. Decent bit of money. But nothing to really write home about. Uh-oh, something right up next to the black hole. It's usually not safe. Let's see what we have up here. We have... Of course, it's a research station. So this is going to be a bit dangerous. Now, black holes will not destroy you immediately. You'll see. But they will try to suck you in. And if you hang out in this area, you will eventually have all your ships blow up. But it will take eh, 30 seconds or so. However, oddly enough, and I don't know how much I agree with this decision, but oddly enough, if you happen to have the solar shielding built in, where is it? That's down here somewhere. Here we go. If you have it built in with the S mod bonus to give you 100% protection, well, this is considered a similar hazard for black holes, which a little goofy, but sure, I'll take it. So we're going to actually kind of... Oops, no, turn you off. And you'll see we're in the event horizon, so we are chewing through our supplies right now. I'm going to get in here real fast. I'm going to grab this. Hey, a doom, and we already have you, but cool. Or do we have you already? I don't recall. Not a bit hall, though. We'll do this. And then we're going to pause, hit our E-burn button, and we're going to get out because that's going to be costly. Whew. Okay. Anytime now. So we have uh, 94 supplies to go. Yikes. Yeah, that's a pretty dangerous kind of treat to pick up there. Wrong button. Oh, let's move on. No one's home. Off we go. So like nothing in particular here. Unless the Baron world has something interesting to say. Oh, we have a ring system. Nope. All right. Off we go. Oh, hello. Unexpected blip on the radar. Let's go get a Mr. Coffee and see what's on the Mr. Radar. Oh, some fuel. Don't mind if I do. Let's also ping up here in case there's anything else interesting on the fringes. Oh, there is. Perhaps. Mud skipper. Not interesting. 
Hashtag worth it? Question mark. Hey, hey, we found a gate. That's not too shabby. Anything dangerous around here? No, that's good. Let's go check out. Wow, that's far out there. Okay. Let's go check out these worlds here, and then we'll check out that gate. Without flying through the black hole, please. Thank you. And what have we here? I think I see some scattered ruins. Yes, I thought I did. Uh, no Cerberus, thank you. Alright, a little bit of stuff. Make the trip worthwhile. Hello. Ah, there's something hanging out over there. Okay. Let's survey this planet with a little bit of ruins on it first. Okay. Not too bad. And then let's go check out what's on this side of the sun. Debris field. Recreational drugs, all right. And a mining station, not too shabby. Hey, nice. So our second arid world, Calamari, could really use this. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Double tap. Don't need 15,000 ore. If we could carry it, I might, because this is worth 150k-ish. Of course, if you unload it all in one place, it'd be worth probably about 60k. Then there's taxes. And I do think it's getting down to time where we need to just stop that tech mining. Can we find that? Wow, that's way out here. Let's go. Uh-oh, a graveyard, huh? All right. Nifty. Just salvage basically all of these guys. Oh, no thank you. No lasher, thank you. Eh, they're not in bad shape, but uh, no. Got plenty of those. What I'm looking for with these guys mostly is going to be like any officers. That might be on them, and then I salvage them because I don't really want to get the missions to scan these things. Because we're not really going to come out here ever again. We're not going to colonize here. We're not going to be finding other things. Got a broad wave signal there. Great. Let's see if we can get down to this jump point before they find us. Now, it looks like we've already been in here. Yes. I don't know why we would have been. Let's take a quick peek in here. Oh, this is where we got that research station that one time. Okay. Well then, we are indeed done in here. Oh, hello. Not quite done in here, apparently. All right. We have a blue giant to check out next. And blue giants are unique and they can have certain features about them in their around their corona. We're going to see if they happen to have one. So, nothing on this side of the star. Let's see. Swing on the other side. Now, there is of course a lot of ring space here for us to examine, but I don't generally bother. You can end up spending a lot of time and resources looking around rings. I think for rings, especially ones that are large and around a system, I tend to prefer to 
skip them and sort of just wait to see if a research station or mining station mission comes up. It just costs a lot less time and in this game, time is money because you're of course ticking down your supplies. Well, not here. And I don't think we found one yet. But let's keep looking and see where we're going next. Oh, hello. Something bad happened here, apparently. Okay. The Colossus. Some Volatiles. Okay. And something big. I'm going to guess a research station. No, a equipment cache. All right. Oof. There we go. Uh-oh, Broadway of Signal. That really wasn't worth it, to be honest. And they're coming from that side of the star. Let's just roll with Solar Flare. Yikes. And off we go. Bye, guys. And now we have our favorite kind of system. Ooh. A neutron star that doesn't have any planets. What I might do for this one is let's jump in on the star, the neutron star. There's a good chance if we jump in on the white dwarf, we'll end up on this side of it and we'll get blown through it. So let's just jump in on the neutron star. And we will hope for the best. Let's just save real quick. And we're going to burn this way, if we can. Ooh, ouch. Okay. That hurt a lot. Let's do a ping and nothing. Okay. That was not worth it. <laughs> but it is good to have it checked off at least. This is all one system. Interesting. Now a small ring system like this is worth checking because you can hit it with one ping and be sure you've gotten it all. This one maybe might be the same. Let's find out. Looks a little bigger. Yeah, we've got to get most of it. Nothing there. And looks like this one's a dead system too. Yep. Here we go. Here's one that we can do. This one ought to be all right. Let's jump in here on the, hopefully, back side of this planet. Whoops, if I can actually press the right buttons. Let's get in right in here. Ah, oh, not again. Did discover a research station right around this planet. That's perfect. Let's go check it out. Actually, let's do our ping first. This is a treasure trove. Come on, let's go. Some survey data for Orpheus. And again, kind of just junk. That's too bad. Can I get another roll? I cannot, okay. Well, let's go see what all is over here. Supply cash. Don't mind if I do. We're burning up supplies like crazy. There's something out here, something in there. Ah, here you are. A little wayfarer. Hey, hello, Arcturus. Something tells me I'm not going to keep you. And I also just realized that you're cautious, which I don't actually want. But that's easy to retrain. You 
you're not anything that I want, so goodbye. I'm going to spend a story point here. We've got five of them now. To retrain this guy to steady. That will keep him a little closer to the enemies and actually using beams on them. And there we go. Let's get up here before the uh, other half of that wave front shows up. Like that. And let's see what's up here. We have ships galore. My goodness. Extensive ruins location. Get this mule. No, thank you. I'll take the mule in parts, please. Same for you. There is an Aurora in rough shape. Not really worth taking, I don't think. More ships for the old supply room. And same for the Shrike. Anything else around here we want to check out? I don't think so. I'm going to probably... I'm going to run out this way. Check this little planet over here for any ruins. Looks like it's going to be a no. And I don't want to wait for the beam to come around again, so we're going to just pop out of here with transverse jump. That, however, was very well worth it. Let's go check out this system. And I guess we probably skipped it due to being a... Are you a red? No, you're medium. Okay. We can probably handle ourselves in a medium system here. Let's find out. We'll have her go dark, just in case. Oof. Inactive gate. Not too bad. Mining station. Got something up that way. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is for if you have commerce on your planet. This just flat increases your colony's income by 50%. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'll take all that too, why not? Let's go investigate what is up here. Looks like two debris fields and maybe something else twinkling out there. Debris field and a falcon. Full of drugs, apparently. All right. Grab this stuff. Let's go scan that gate. Look, there's stuff around here, too. You probably don't need to be super careful, because we are faster than the Ordos by a pretty large margin. Let's see, what do we have here? Arid World. Yeah, let's go get a spin around here and look for any ruins. In a medium system, there is a chance of finding a damaged nexus, which is the stations that belong to the remnants. A tempest, huh? All right. Let's over this way. Medusa. No, thank you. Nothing on that planet. A some crazy ruins. Vast ruins. Come on, roll the dice. Ooh, harvested organs. That's pretty cool. Rest of it is... It's alright. But we'll take it. Also ping something here. Oh, wow. We still have pings galore out this way. Oh, my. Okay. Just save in case these guys activate on us. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Nope, okay. Oh, now they will. Yeah, look at that. 
Ah, uh, no thanks. We should still be faster than them. Bye. Later, my dudes. Alright, let's get over to the exit over here. And away we go. That might actually have been the last system to check in our little loop here. It is. Wow. So I might actually pop back in and run over home here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and pop back in here. Let's run to the gate. I'm going to head home. We're going to go and install a couple odds and ends. And then we will say goodbye to this leg of the exploration. So I'll see all of you in just a little bit. All right, folks, we are back and we're going to run over to a couple of different colonies and do a couple things. Actually, before we do that, let's stay at Larch here. The first thing I want to do is we should shut down our tech mining. We're going to take out our AI core. There we go. And then we're going to shut this down. And when you shut something down, you get three quarters of the initial startup cost back as flat up cash. Blam. So now we've freed up an, in, an industry slot and we can look at some other industries to put here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking probably commerce. Now our stability is 10, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes, so if we put commerce on here, then that will increase our colony's income by a flat 25%. And that's pretty cool. We can then install the hollow suite to increase it by a further 50%, which should be an additive, so it'd be 75%, which ain't bad. That ain't bad. Now, we could, of course, also do Freeport and almost double our income, but that also comes with some drawbacks as far as attracting attention from hegemony and the athletic church. They'll come and try to smack your Freeport because you're exporting drugs and organs and stuff. So I tend not to do that until we have much better defenses here. But... We can go ahead and install some commerce and get that going. And let's then come in here. Oops. I think since it's building, if we leave and come back, we should be able to install the, here we go, the item. And there we go. Once that's done in 89 days, we'll have a lot more money. And soon we could look at dropping our commission with Gemini altogether. We used to be commissioned with Tritac. We're now the Hegemony, so we could do a quest a couple episodes ago. And yeah, so let's run over to Calamari. And we're going to install the Soil Nanites, which will increase the farming output. There we go. Let's check out the bar and the com directory. What do you do? Nothing, because I can't hire anybody else. Okay. So, let's come in here. We're going to install you. Now, we can't actually export that much yet, because we're still a pretty small colony. And we don't have a way station. Interesting. Let's go ahead and build that. And this one is just barely at 10, so we don't want to mess with anything too much there. But now we're going to come over to Abydos... And we're going to install something new that we just got. I've been waiting to find for quite a while. And it's the entire reason why we built Abydos on that really, really hot planet. So here we are. Let's manage a colony. And we are going to install this cryo-arithmetic engine. The fleets launched by our colony will be increased in size by 100%. That's pretty darn good. So there we go. We now have doubled the size of our fleets, which is great. 281%. Now our fleet quality is still kind of in the toilet right now. 
I don't think the upgrade to high command fixes that. It does not. That's fine though. Let's do it because that will... High command, what do you do? So that just increases our ground defense by 1.3 rather than 1.2. That's not huge, but I think we do want that. I I want to say it's going to give us bigger fleets, but I'm not, not positive. It will, however, increase the multiplier that we have against impact from pirates and so on by should be, I think, three times the size of your colony. Yeah, because this is at two times with the military base, two times colony size. And then if we go to the high command, it's three times. So that, I think, is what we'll do here. Let's get back into here. And let's go ahead and upgrade high command. That one's pretty cheap. We're getting a little bit low on cash, though. And yeah, that's going to be about it for our crazy activities today. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. It's going to be a interesting one to edit because I haven't really done a lot of editing on these videos before. Let me know what you think if I should do some exploration off camera or if you want to see more exploration on camera. And there are some things we haven't found. Actually, a lot of things we haven't found yet. And not just items. I'm also talking features and certain things to fight and explore. So I don't want to miss out on those for you guys. I think we want to see kind of a bit of everything if we can. So, oh, hello, paper book. But yes, let me know what you think we should do in the future as far as exploration goes. I think we're going to switch over to a couple missions that are related to the story, just to give you guys some time to mull it over and let me know what you think you want to do. And yeah, I'm going to see what this person with the paper book wants. We have a couple blueprint locations. Not what I'm looking for right now. So we'll just end it there with that person. And there we go. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you're looking forward to some more story missions. We are not at the end of those yet. Actually, not even by a long shot, at least for a little while. But hope you're looking forward to that. And I hope to see you all in the next one. As always, my name is Hasman Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.